still have many buses that are coming in. One of eight bus loads that pulls into the Richmond Greyhound station on any given day from New York. For this employee who we aren't identifying, that's one too many right now. I think that they should reduce some of the routes to and from different places, especially places that have been reported that they have high volumes of this coronavirus, and New York is one of them. New York leads the country in confirmed coronavirus cases with more than 20,000 and hundreds of deaths. Sobering stats that have some who make a living inside this terminal concerned. We talk to these people face to face. We handle money. We handle tickets. We have to pull luggage off the bus. We have to put it on the bus. And you just don't know. That same kind of uncertainty has led to Florida's governor issuing an executive order requiring anyone traveling to his state from the New York area to a mandatory 14-day self-isolation. Uh, that's the only way we can be sure uh, that that virus is not going to be reintroduced in the state of Florida and then spread. We asked Governor Ralph Northam whether he has similar concerns. A spokesperson tells us that, quote, it is important that our roads and highways remain open to move essential personnel and critical supplies, but that this is a quickly changing situation and the governor will continue to make decisions in the best interest of Virginians. The best thing to do in the meantime, according to this employee, would be to regularly clean and disinfect this terminal. But she says that's not being done. So you just have people running through, running in and out, and nothing is being sanitized. On Greyhound's website under its Coronavirus Update Center, the bus liner outlines measures it's taking by enhancing cleaning efforts on its most frequently used areas of buses. When it comes to the terminals, it says it's taking a team approach. The employee says they are expected to clean their workstations once in an eight-hour shift. Um, when it first came out, we did get a can of Lysol, um, a small bottle of hand sanitizer, but that's gone. So you're pretty much either bringing your own. I've had to bring in um, sanitizer, my own gloves, um, Lysol, the mask, things like that to protect myself. Should you be having to do that? No, I shouldn't have to take my own money to do what my company should be doing. As she says, they should be making sure the terminal and restrooms are staying sanitized around the clock. But nothing is being done within the terminal. Sometimes you don't have a janitor. So within an eight hour shift, you don't have a janitor. And floors aren't being mopped, chairs aren't being sanitized. Sometimes restrooms are not being cleaned for the whole eight hour shift. A risk she says could cause more local spread and lead to employees like her down a path no one wants to travel. Their responsibility is our safety. It's a global business, I understand that. But our safety, your passenger safety, is very important. As far as the employees, we could have gloves. You can provide us with masks. You can provide us with the proper sanitation. We need to be protected. And we reached out to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration with questions about this, but they referred us to their website. A spokesperson for Greyhound sent us a statement that reads in part, our team members and cleaning agencies are thoroughly trained in sanitation procedures with a specific emphasis on coronavirus preparedness. They have each been provided with an abundance of supplies for properly disinfecting and sanitizing employee and customer areas. We'll continue enforcing proper cleaning protocols as recommended by the CDC.